Hello friends and welcome to The Architecture Enthusiast. Felix Candela's architectural legacy is indelibly marked by his extraordinary mastery of thin-shell concrete structures, a discipline he elevated to an art form and a science. His contributions weren't merely aesthetic, they were a profound redefinition of structural efficiency, material expression, and the interplay between form and force. At the heart of his genius lay an intuitive yet rigorously mathematical understanding of how concrete, when cast into specific curvilinear geometries, could achieve immense strength with minimal material. If one were to ask Felix Candela, what is architecture? His answer, though perhaps not delivered in a single pithy phrase, would be embedded within the very essence of his built work and his professional life. For Candela, architecture was fundamentally a rational solution to a structural problem expressed with elegance and economy. He would likely emphasize that true architecture emerges from a profound understanding of materials and forces, where form is not arbitrarily imposed, but rather grows organically from structural necessity. He would contend that architecture is the art of optimizing material to enclose space beautifully and efficiently. He might speak of the inherent poetry in a perfectly resolved structural system where every curve and every surface contributes to the overall stability and aesthetic appeal. For Candela, the architect's role was akin to that of an engineer artist, someone who could translate complex mathematical principles into tangible, habitable spaces that delighted the eye and uplifted the spirit. He would dismiss arbitrary ornament or superfluous elements, arguing that if a feature didn't contribute to the structural integrity or the functional purpose of a space, it had no place in true architecture. Candela's work represents a pivotal moment in the history of modern construction, demonstrating that elegance and economy could coexist. His designs are characterized by their remarkable lightness and ethereal quality, often defying the inherent heaviness typically associated with concrete. This was achieved through the intelligent manipulation of hyperbolic paraboloids, parabolas, and other double-curved surfaces. These forms, while seemingly complex, possess inherent structural stability, distributing loads efficiently across their entire surface, thus eliminating the need for bulky columns or thick walls. This allowed for vast, unobstructed interior spaces bathed in natural light, creating environments of unparalleled openness and fluidity. The aesthetic impact of Candela's structures is inseparable from their structural logic. The sweeping curves, the delicate edges, and the interplay of light and shadow on their undulating surfaces are direct consequences of their engineering efficiency. There is a purity in his forms, a direct expression of the forces at play, where the structure itself becomes the architecture. This honest articulation of construction principles lends his creations a timeless quality, transcending fleeting stylistic trends. He demonstrated that structural innovation could be inherently beautiful, that the most efficient solution could also be the most poetic. His approach to design was deeply rooted in a hands-on understanding of construction. Candela was not just a theorist or a draftsman, he was intimately involved in the entire process, from conceptualization to the on-site pouring of concrete. This practical knowledge allowed him to push the boundaries of what was considered feasible with reinforced concrete, developing new techniques for formwork and pouring that minimized material waste and labor. He understood the nuances of the material, its plastic qualities when wet, and its immense strength when cured, allowing him to sculpt it with an unprecedented level of precision and ambition. For him, architecture was also about the mastery of the construction process, a dialogue between the drawing board and the building site, where the architect had to be a skilled craftsman as much as a visionary designer. Candela's work often explored the potential of repetition and modularity. By developing standardized hyperbolic paraboloid units, he could create vast, complex roofscapes from simple repeating elements. This not only streamlined the construction process, but also generated compelling rhythmic patterns across the ceiling plane, creating a sense of dynamic movement and visual interest. These modular units could be combined and rotated in countless ways, allowing for a remarkable degree of flexibility and adaptability in design. This systematic approach for Candela was part of what made architecture a robust and intelligent discipline, 
proving that mass production could still result in structures of profound beauty. His commitment to these thin-shell forms was not merely an intellectual exercise. It was driven by a belief in their inherent advantages for creating durable, economical, and aesthetically pleasing structures. He saw them as a logical evolution in architectural expression, moving beyond the orthogonal rigidity of earlier modernism to embrace more organic, fluid forms inspired by the natural world. These structures often evoke images of unfurling leaves, protective canopies, or the graceful undulations of water, connecting the built environment to the inherent geometries of nature. For Candela, then, Architecture was also about responding to the forces of nature through ingenious structural forms, creating shelter that felt both secure and harmonious with its surroundings, blurring the lines between engineered marvel and natural phenomenon. The challenges he overcame were immense. Designing and constructing these complex three-dimensional forms required sophisticated calculations and meticulous execution. Yet, Candela consistently delivered structures that were not only structurally sound, but also remarkably elegant, often achieved with surprisingly simple means. His ingenuity in creating complex forms from straightforward hyperbolic paraboloid umbrellas or groins is a testament to his inventive spirit and his deep understanding of geometry and mechanics. He would likely say that architecture is about solving complex problems with elegant simplicity finding the most direct and honest path from concept to creation, pushing the boundaries of what is possible with a given material. This commitment to structural honesty and efficiency became his signature. Beyond the technical prowess, Candela's philosophy subtly touched upon the experiential quality of space. While he focused on the structural integrity and economic efficiency of his shells, the resulting environments were always captivating. The play of light and shadow across the curved surfaces, the vast, column-free interiors, and the sense of soaring lightness created an undeniable emotional impact. For him, architecture wasn't just about covering space. It was about defining it in a way that resonated with the human spirit, offering a sense of wonder and expansiveness. This was the unspoken yet profoundly felt humanistic dimension of his work. The very scale and audacity of his spans created a sense of awe, demonstrating the incredible potential of human ingenuity when applied to the fundamental need for shelter. Candela's influence also stemmed from his willingness to challenge conventional wisdom. In an era where many architects were still working with traditional beam and column systems, he championed a radical departure, proving the viability and superiority of thin shells. This required not only engineering brilliance, but also a persuasive conviction to demonstrate their practical advantages to clients and contractors. His courage in pioneering these forms, often with limited precedence, speaks volumes about his belief in their transformative potential. He didn't just design, he advocated and educated, showing the world a new way to build. His legacy extends far beyond his direct contributions to building technology. He instilled in a generation of architects and engineers a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of form, function, and force. He demonstrated that architectural beauty could be inherent in the very solution to a structural challenge rather than an applied veneer. His work remains a powerful reminder that truly innovative architecture arises when technical mastery is infused with artistic vision and when a deep understanding of materials dictates the most eloquent expression of space. Felix Candela redefined what concrete could be, transforming a utilitarian material into a medium for soaring light-filled masterpieces. He didn't just build structures, he crafted lessons in structural poetry, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of modern architecture. In essence, for Felix Candela, architecture was the eloquent expression of structural truth, realized through a deep respect for materials and an unwavering commitment to efficiency and beauty all culminating in spaces that truly sang.